National Envoy to the United Nations says all military actions in eastern Aleppo have stopped, and the Syrian government is now in full control of the city. The fact is that the agreement that you refer to that called for the removal of the militants was achieved a few hours ago and it's being implemented. All militants together with their families are going out in the direction which they have chosen including toward Idlib. Over the last hour we received information that military activities in East Aleppo have stopped. So there is no question about cessation of hostilities or humanitarian operations. The Syrian government has established control over East Aleppo. Vitaly Cherkin says the agreement is only for militants, but civilians don't have to move out. The Syrian army says the evacuation of the militants will start at around 300 GMT. Militants have also confirmed the news. Retaking Aleppo is seen as the biggest blow to foreign-backed militants in more than five years of conflict. All of downtown Aleppo tonight is filled with people celebrating. It's a huge development, the most significant victory by pro-government forces for the duration of this conflict that's now lasted almost six years. But despite the happy faces around me, people chanting in support of the president and the army, of course, it's been an extremely painful journey getting here. Tens of thousands of people have lost their lives. Uh, most of the people living in Aleppo have been displaced. It's estimated that around 50% of the population have been forced to leave the city, and of course, much of the city has uh, been destroyed. Now, I've spent months in Aleppo in the last year, and I haven't really met anybody here that hasn't been affected by the war. Many parents have lost their children. Many children have been left orphaned by this conflict. Abuim Mayet, Salo Hamsti. The shift on up with you, Ella? But something struck me today. Uh, we left uh, Sheikh Saeed early this morning, just hours after it was retaken by pro-government forces. Uh, and there we met a man, a soldier, who wasn't involved in the battle to take uh, Sheikh Saeed, but he was there returning to his home. It was almost as though he was waiting for the second that he could safely return to his home, even though that he'd know, he knew that uh, it had been destroyed. And that's really the sense that I get from many people here, that once they've, uh, once they've done with their celebrations, that they are eagerly waiting to rebuild their homes, their families, and of course, their city.